Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday and I actually went and got a facial this morning and it was the best experience ever. I've never had a facial before in my life so I had no idea really what to expect when I went into it. But when I walked out, my skin felt so good and hydrated and she actually did a few extractions, I guess. She complimented my skin and said that I have really great skin and that whatever my skincare routine is, that I'm doing a good job, which was such a nice compliment because you guys know I spend a lot of time like with my skin in the morning and every single night. Um, but she did do a few extractions, which I'm weird and I love that kind of stuff. So I asked her like how she did it. She like used these little tools and got some like blackheads out of my nose and like over here and down around my chin. And it was just such a cool experience. So if you guys have never had a facial, highly recommend going and doing that. I also ran this morning and it's literally only 11.30 a.m. So I still have the whole day ahead of me and it just feels so good to have got like an early start this morning. So I have to run up to the post office and drop off these some money orders and i'm also going to stop and get a coffee and get my nails done because they're super outgrown and i'm so excited dropped off the packages and i picked up my coffee i'm at the nail salon now about to go in i just decided to get a drink that i used to get all the time like around the holiday season i don't know why i just decide to get it now but it's just an iced coffee with one pump of hazelnut and one pump of toffee nut and a little bit of half and half they put way too much half and half um but it still tastes good so typically whenever i get my nails done and i actually do acrylic i always get them like a little bit longer and squared or coffin i never get them rounded and the few times that i've done like the dip powder or just gel once my nails like my real nails have grown long enough um they just don't last for me which is why lately i've just been doing the acrylic like every time because even though i know it's not healthy for your nails it's like the only thing that will allow my nail polish to last because i'm so hard on my nails so let me know if you can relate to that the point i'm making is i'm gonna switch it up and forget about the square i'm gonna actually go like a rounded almond kind of shape i think this time i really hope i like it because i've actually never done that nail shape before but i keep seeing it on people and i think it looks so pretty and more natural so i think i'm just gonna go for it so I got my nails done and they are quite a bit shorter than I was wanting, but that's okay. We're just gonna rock the short nails, I guess. I told him not to make them shorter and then like I walked out with like stubs, but I feel like the shape is cute. But at the same time, I feel like he was rushing and he definitely didn't push my cuticles back. But now I'm at the McDonald's drive-thru because I really wanted McDonald's chicken nuggets. A six piece chicken nugget. A six piece nugget. And then um, just a small fry. 488. First one down. Thank you. Guys, I am so excited for my chicken nuggets. I have not got McDonald's in forever, so I really don't even feel guilty about it. I know it's super unhealthy. Overall, I eat pretty damn healthy, and I've been running every single morning, and chicken nuggets just sounded so good right now. I can't even remember the last time that I had McDonald's. I seriously only ever get it when I'm with Alyssa and we've been drinking, like out drinking, and that hasn't happened in forever. I'm gonna get me some nuggets. Wait till I tell Chad, he's gonna be like, you're at McDonald's? I'm not gonna eat my nuggets till I get home. When we get home, we're getting to work. But here's what my nails look like. They're pretty cute. They're just like shorter than I wanted, but that's okay so we are at target i'm running in here and grabbing two things i was going to do the drive up just to make it faster and to like reduce the temptation to buy things that i don't need but it wasn't an option because i went on the app and it said that the drive up like estimated time was four hours so I'm not sitting here for four hours so we're gonna go in we're gonna get the two things that i'm going in there for one is a bin i need to get a bin because i'm going through my entire closet today and getting rid of a ton of clothes and uploading a ton of stuff to poshmark so i basically just want to get one of those massive like tupperware bins so that wait it's not tupperware <laughs> tupperware is for food um like a Sterlite bin i don't know you know what i'm talking about but i want to get one of those so that i can put all of the clothes that are specifically for poshmark in that way i just have one space to keep that stuff while i list it and then like until it sells it's just like one bin just for that because i hate having poshmark stuff mixed in with my own personal clothes and i have a lot of stuff that's going to be going on poshmark 
and then the other thing I'm gonna grab while I'm in here is a new blow dryer I went to go blow dry my hair the other day with my super cheap I think Conair Revlon one that I've had for like 10 years and it finally decided it wasn't gonna work on me the attachment like headpiece uh, snapped off and that's been doing that like I heck I constantly have to like pop it back on it just died on me so I guess it's time to finally upgrade the old hair dryer So I am back home from Target and I only got one thing that I didn't need and it's literally just this mermaid bath bomb because I was planning on taking a bubble bath tonight and just having like a little bit of a self care tonight after I work on the closet all day because I already got my nails done, I had a facial this morning, I feel like we're just having a self care vlog so I thought I would get that and do a nice bath tonight. And then I decided to try this Revlon One Step hair dryer. I've never tried a hair dryer that's like a brush before, but I've heard so many good things about this. I don't really blow dry my hair a whole lot because I usually shower at night, but I know it's not good to sleep on wet hair because if you toss and turn a lot, like you're pulling on your hair. And I also run into the situation a lot when I work out in the mornings where my hair is just gross and I really want to wash it in the morning like after a run, but then I have to deal with styling it. And I guess this is supposed to make the process a lot faster. So I'll let you guys know what I think about that. If this clip alone doesn't make you go get some chicken nuggets, you have a lot of self-control. You can't have any chicken nuggets. No, no chicken nuggets for you. So TikTok made me buy this Bluetooth keyboard from Amazon and I'm so glad that I did because even though I do have a keyboard for my iPad, I typically like to use this one because it's just like so thin and lightweight. So I prefer this case. So typically I don't have the keyboard with it. I also like that I can connect this to my phone because I use my notes app a lot to plan workouts, to type up to-do lists, respond to emails, and I can literally just set my phone up on here. It's really cool here. And then you just lift this part up and your iPad goes right on it. And right now I just have my calendar pulled up, but it's super cute and it looks just like my Apple one for my Mac. I feel like now would be a good time to mention that I am working on creating an upload schedule for you guys because I'm not taking classes this semester and I really want to put my full focus into YouTube. YouTube content and Sun Bunny. So I'm gonna try to do more frequent drops on Sun Bunny. The next one's actually gonna be next Friday, but then I'm gonna try to do, I think maybe three Fridays out of the month instead of just every other Friday. But I am working on an upload schedule and I asked you guys in my Facebook group if you wanted me to start producing other content or how you felt about that. I will still always do vlogs. I know you guys love my vlogs, but I do kind of want to expand my content a little bit. I want to do some styling videos, Q and A's. I definitely want to do what's on my iPad because so many of you guys have been asking like how I'm doing my digital planning and productivity apps and everything that's on my iPad so I will definitely be doing that video very soon but basically I want to upload vlogs like maybe two or three days out of the week and then just have one day a week that's for a dedicated upload so if you guys have any insights on that let me know but I'm really looking forward to having kind of a definitive schedule for YouTube I've never done that before and I think it would be really good for me and then you guys kind of know what to expect okay so we are about to get started cleaning out my closet and I'm gonna show you guys a real life example of why I am probably the biggest slob in the world. The thing is, I'm not like dirty, I'm just messy. And I have accumulated so, so many clothes and despite how many times I have done like a little clean out, I haven't gotten rid of nearly enough as I should have. And so I just get a little bit more and then it becomes too full again. And um, it just really stresses me out. I have too much stuff. So. We're about to tackle this massive task. I am fully expecting this to take a few hours. We're going in. This is really embarrassing. I can't even believe I'm showing you guys this right now, but um, this is real life right here. And then this is Chad's side. I mean, it's like he like hangs his pants and everything is like color coded. He's got like whites and grays, his blues over here, reds. And I'm like, so the opposite. This is my dresser. I've shown you guys how out of hand this gets like a billion times and it just looks awful and my suitcase which normally goes in the closet but the closet's so out of control there's like no room in it so it's just sitting here with more clothes stacked on top 
So I'm gonna go through literally everything. Got my big bin. We're gonna fill this up with anything that I want to give to Poshmark. And then I'm gonna grab another like box that's just gonna be stuff to donate. Okay, here is the update. It's not perfect because I just have a lot of stuff. So over here is basically just all jackets. I tried to kind of color code things. So like hoodies and jackets are all mixed in, but like these are blacks, like beiges and neutral colors. And then I have like grays, this green one, and then like denim jackets and blue stuff. And then you come over here and this is just like black shirts and then beige shirts and white shirts. So just kind of like the stuff I've been wearing lately, all neutrals. This little cube thing has swimsuits in it. I have some belts there, and then I filled this up entirely with Poshmark stuff, as well as this thing filled with Poshmark stuff. And then shoes over here is gonna be a whole nother day. I just have so many shoes, but I can't believe how many hangers I acquired. Just shows you how much I got rid of. These three bags are to donate. This bag is for trash and I labeled them. So that way Chad knows, cause I'm gonna sit them out in the garage and we'll probably drop them off tomorrow. So I labeled them, that way he knows which ones to not throw away. Also went through my dresser and finally cleared out this corner. I'm not gonna go through this drawer. This is obviously my socks and underwear drawer, but in here is like my workout stuff. So I've got all all of that organized somewhat by color in here is all denim so just shorts jeans and I honestly like have no space I have tons of denim that's gonna go up on Poshmark but I'm definitely not gonna get to that today this drawer is all pants that are not denim every other thing all different colors so I have lots of black pants and shorts some white denim skirts shorts those linen pants and then like khaki stuff yeah all of that and then the last drawer is all of my comfy stuff because this is like primarily what I wear. So I have a whole drawer dedicated to just shorts, sweatpants, and all of that. It's already time for dinner. So I'm just heating up some of this leftover chicken and zucchini from last night. This was that chicken asado recipe that I told you guys I found on Pinterest. It was so good and it looks like it's gonna heat up good too poured myself a glass of wine and i'm filling up the bathtub now and i'm gonna film a little like self-care tiktok and i'm really excited so if you guys aren't following me on tiktok go follow me because it's gonna be a really cute little self-care night routine sort of thing i just took my makeup off with the sephora coconut water cleansing wipes and applied my favorite face mask which is the clinique city block purifying charcoal clay mask i've been using this forever and i've talked about it a million times it's just one of my favorite masks and i decided to leave it off my forehead because my forehead just really doesn't need the treatment right now and neither does my nose so i'm just doing this area guys that bath was the nicest thing 
in the world. I can only ever take bubble baths whenever I'm like at the end of my self tan. That's like the one downside to self tanning is when you take a hot bath, like it just makes it come off. So I have to be like careful whenever I do it. But luckily my self tan is like gone. So it was the perfect night to take a bath. And I finally decided to hop back on my Animal Crossing island, which was so much fun. I haven't played Animal Crossing at all lately and I kind of missed it. But every time I go on here, I just get super overwhelmed because there's so much I want to do with my island. And I see like posts on Twitter and stuff of what people's islands look like and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so behind. Before I end today's vlog, I thought I would show you guys this Saturday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask that's available at Sephora. This was sent to me by Saturday Skin and I've been using it for a few weeks now. This is the first time that I've ever decided to use a sleep mask, like the idea of going to sleep with a mask on your face just kind of seems weird to me but this actually feels a lot like just a moisturizer it's super super hydrating it smells really really good and the saturday skin brand is one of the clean by sephora brands so you can trust that the ingredients are clean for your skin here's a better look at what the mask looks like a little bit goes a long way and i've been really enjoying this mask so i'm going to apply this and then get ready for bed i think somebody is ready for bed and so is stetson